This is going to be an interesting video. We're going to be talking about the all new Leica 14 to 24 Vario Elmer at f2.8 a spherical lens. But I'm also going to compare it against the Sigma 14 to 24 f2.8, which many are saying that this is actually a collaboration between Sigma and Leica. Now, they don't necessarily say this out in the open, but I guess if you look at the, the specs of the lens and the optical performance, you could arguably say that these are one and the same. So it's not going to be which one to buy because guess what? Everyone's gonna have their choice. Some people are gonna be on a budget. They're gonna let's say, look, for about 1200 US dollars, I'm gonna go for the Sigma. And if I have a little bit extra coin to spend and I want a Leica lens to my Leica body, then I'm gonna go for the Leica. It's about 100% more. So this is 2500 USD. This is about 1299 USD. So you can do the math and figure it out. But let's talk about the build quality on this lens. This is a fantastic built lens here. This does remind me a lot of the 2490, a lot of the Leica SL zoom lenses, the 2470, the 100 to 400. This design language, this all metal construction body is absolutely beautiful. And it does feel really solid in the hands. I mean, this is a hefty lens, guys. Don't kid yourself. It is. You have a metal cap as well, which by the way, you can get for the Sigma, but you have to pay extra for that, but it does come with the Leica one and it does seal on very, very nicely. That's not coming off. It's not going to fall off in your bag, which is a very good thing. This lens hood does not come off. It does protect the bulbous front element here, as you can see. And if you want to put any sort of filter on it, then you're going to have to go to the back of it. And there's a cutout that does come in the box. So you can actually cut that out or have somebody do it. So that's exactly how the Sigma is as well. As you look at the design language, which you guys can probably figure out who made what lens, but it's really not so much about that. It's really about what is this lens gonna bring to your kit? But the Sigma does have some features that the Leica doesn't, and we're gonna talk about that in just a second, but let's focus on the Leica one because that's the newest one to the family. Optically pretty good, I have to say. It is not super sharp in the edges, but it is definitely sharp in the center, and that's even when you're stopping down. So that is very reminiscent of what we saw here on the 14 to 24 from Sigma. I've tested this on an SL2, SL2S, and I'll show you side-by-side -side comparisons, and you would be tough to know which lens is what if I didn't put the name next to that. This lens was made in 2019. This one came out in 2023. Now, there may be some enhancements that Leica has done to this lens, which we don't really know about, but I can just tell you in terms of looking at the images, this lens and this lens perform relatively the same. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. And I think a 1424 in the kit is a very good option for a lot of people out there. You're going to have minimal distortion in this, which is fantastic. And shooting at 14 millimeters can obviously cause that. But if you, as long as you're on the right focal plane, your lines are sharp. It does decent with autofocus. It's very reminiscent of any other Leica lens. If you are going to be in some tough situations where there's not a lot of contrast, you might find a little bit of a challenge to it. I really didn't, especially if you're going to shooting landscapes and urban photography, et cetera, et cetera. Even people, it does work. But I do see this as a very good option for video shooters out there once we get that um, face detect. I mean, obviously you can use manual focus and I have done that with, uh, you know, great success with the SL2S, but it's just something to point out. There's no buttons on the outside of the lens at all. There's no switches. It is what it is because with the Sigma, we do have some other features to this. Case in point, we have an autofocus and manual focus switch right here on the lens. And you have an AFL button as well. And so that is there if you want to use it. In terms of the zoom ring on this, it does feel a little bit more taut than the Leica. I mean, this is a new lens out of the box. Again, we're splitting hairs at this point in time, but just to give you an idea of the differences between these lenses. So now that we've talked about that, I'm going to answer a question that a lot of you guys have been asking me about when you have been seeing my SL2S here. And that is, Bobby, what did you do to the wrap on this thing? What's going on with this? I got the uh, SL2S Reporter and I did a video on it uh, last year when I was at Wetzlar, uh, when it was announced. And I absolutely love that Aramic fiber to it. It's a beautiful fiber. It feels really good in the hand. But when I was using it here in Singapore, over a short period of time, I started noticing some, you know, it started looking a little bit grayer in color. You know, when you utilize it, you can't necessarily wash the wrap because it will start to fray. You see this on the forums as well. People talk about it with their other reporter cameras that this does fray over time. So what I did is I went to Leica Singapore here and I did ask them if I could switch it out to the SL2 or SL2S wrap, the original wrap that comes with those cameras. And they said, yes, I could. And so I did that for a very nominal fee. And I got to tell you, it feels absolutely fantastic and it looks awesome as well. And they did a great job on the back of it. And this makes it a lot easier to hold in a hot, humid climate like we have here in Singapore. And um, some people say, well, but that's the whole aramic fiber that makes it the reporter. And I would argue to say, actually, it's the green color more or less. 
this wrap feels better in the hand and the rubber insert is there too so if you're worried about that i do know that like it is aware of the situation and will they change it for a, any upcoming reporter series who knows now some people may venture off and try a different leather wrap or something more you know exotic that's up to you Personally, for me, I say keep it to Leica. It's a Leica camera, and if I ever do want to let this go, then I can obviously change this back to the Aramic Fiber. Of course, there'll be a fee, but I can do that. So that's pretty much it on this lens review. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Which lens would you pick up? Now, some people are diehard Leica fans. They're going to be like, no, I don't care about the cost. I want a Leica lens. You're going to go for the 1424 Vario Elmeret. And some people are going to be like, hey, look, I'll save a few bucks here. And I'll go for the Sigma. And you know what? You're not really missing too much. Obviously, the build quality isn't as good. That design language isn't there. But uh, optically, you're going to be hard-pressed to tell the difference between both of them. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. More content coming your way. Thanks again for the support. And I will chat to you soon.